How's it going, everybody? This is Golden Bolt, and welcome back for some more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky Randomizer. In the last episode, we defeated Darkrai once and for good and saved the world. We finally did it. Saved the world yet again, that is. Sorry for not having uploaded the past couple of days. I've been talking about it on Twitter a little bit. Been working pretty crazy hours the last few days, and it's been kind of hindering on my ability to record and all this E3 coverage. It's been a busy week, let's just say. Uh, I haven't been doing E3 coverage, but catching up on all of it uh, in my case. But yeah, uh, we've got a couple of things to show off in this episode here. Pretty exciting stuff, actually. Uh, Monstro wanted to show off a little change we had in Monstro there. Monstro now knows extreme speed instead of uh, frustration, which I thought would be good. That way he can always hit from far away. And after completing two days worth of missions, I think it can be two or three. I, I don't know if it's random or not, but I think it's uh, two days of completing missions. Or something. Chatot's gonna come by. What's wrong, Chatot? What's the big hurry? <laughs> the beach! At the beach! Is there something wrong with the beach? Something is wrong with the whole beach. Manaphy! Manaphy came back! What? Manaphy? You mean the Manaphy we looked after? That's him! That's the one! Hurry to the beach! Yes! Okay, sounds good, Chatot. We get to go after our uh, once, once cared for baby. <gasps> Manaphy's back! Hi, Manaphy! Good to see you, buddy. Manaphy! Jibo. Edith. Manaphy! You're really that little Manaphy? Yup, yup. I grew big in the sea. And he can speak complete sentences. It's all because of you, Jibo and Edith. We haven't been gone that long. Oh, you remembered us. Of course, I didn't forget you. Not once. Not ever. I missed you. Oh, a nice happy family reunion there with Manaphy. That's fun. Remember, this is where you were born. Wow, I remember this place. I hatched here, didn't I? <laughs> yes, you're right. I, I'm gonna give Manaphy a better voice here when Manaphy talks again. I'm surprised you can remember that. We Manaphy have the ability to remember where we hatch, so I've been told. <laughs> Figured He's grown up now, you know? Gotta give him a goofy voice. After we grow up in the sea, we go back to where we hatch by instinct. Mr. Walrain taught me that. How impressive! This is where I was hatched. That's why I felt the urge to come back here. Well then, now that you've returned, what will you do now, Manaphy? He's like, I'm gonna go get a- get myself a wife and, uh, have a child and commute to work in the city. Well, um, so, uh, I thought really hard about this and other things. I'd like to return the favor, Jibo and Edith. Don't you travel and explore all over the world? I really wish I could help you when you go out on your adventures, so, um, uh... <laughs> it sounds so dumb making him- giving him those stutters while, with that voice. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm grown up. I won't get sick like before. Uh, don't know if we can take your word on that. You don't want me? Urk, of course we want you to stay with us, right, Jibo? <laughs> Why was no sort of like, no! Man, I can't even... I kind of wish I would have seen set, like, click that to see what would have happened, but that would have been messed up. If you need me, please call me at the assembly. I'll come running. But are you... Are you as good? As, uh, as Monster, we're just gonna nickname uh, him Manaphy. I don't want to change the name man -a -fee Because of that voice. My name is Manaphy. But anyway, uh, that's one thing that can happen after a couple days of doing missions. Now, uh, we've got a couple more, uh, interim days to do here, and I'm probably just gonna off-screen them, um, as I did the last ones. Haven't been going to anywhere new or anything like that, just kind of been going to uh, complete missions that in places that we know about because I want to show those dungeons that we haven't been to on camera when we actually have to go there. So I'm going to go complete some more missions, and I will see you guys for a very, very exciting moment in just a little bit. The next morning, we died the next two. I did three missions, I believe, and I died the, the most two, so that's exciting. The most recent two, but afterwards... Oh, Jibo Edith, good morning, are you awake? Hmm, who's our visitor? Ah, Manaphy once again. Hello, good sir. Good morning. Hey, it's Manaphy. Good morning. What brings you back here so early in the morning? Well, um, I was on my daily morning travels, and I found a really great place. Really great place? Yep, yep, it has crystal water and, wa and a white sand beach. And it's got plenty of totally yummy gummies. And the place is named the Marine Resort. It's a Pokemon paradise. The Marine Resort, a Pokemon paradise? I couldn't wait to come tell you and Jibo right away. So I cut my daily trip short and came straight here to tell you. 
I'll show you where it is. Can you open your map for me? Sure, Manaphy! <laughs> it's in the middle of the freaking ocean on an island. Let's go play there together sometime. Yup, yup. Why are you saying yup, yup? That's what, number one, that's Bidoof's thing. And then Manaphy was saying that right afterwards. Now, I believe we have even more missions that we need to do on the side, if I'm not mistaken, which kind of sucks unless something triggers and we walk over here. Oh, it does! Okay, here it is, guys! Oh, Jibo, Edith! Hi, hey, what's going on over here? We went to Luminous Spring recently. Look, you know how you can't really tell us apart now? Well, because of that, I'd like to evolve again. So we went back to Luminous Spring to see... How many times do I have to tell her that we can't evolve past this form? She just doesn't listen to me, no matter how many times I tell her. So we have no choice but to go there and prove it. Of course, we can't evolve. But that's what I've been saying all along. But, but, something about the place feels different from the last time we went. Different? Yeah. The atmosphere is different, like a fog has been lifted or something. Can't really explain it. But it's like a really a different luminous spring than before. I felt that too. Just looking at it, nothing's changed, but there's something different. And I just remembered something. You tried to evolve there before, didn't you? But you couldn't. If I recall correctly, it was said you couldn't evolve for some reason. But since something seems to be different about Luminous Spring, maybe whatever was blocking you is gone. That is, I think you might be able to evolve now if you want to. Really? We can evolve now? Well, I don't know if you, if you can. I'm just saying that I think it might now be possible. He's like, don't hold it against me if you can. It'd be worth giving it a shot. So if you want to evolve, head back over to Luminous Spring and see. We just wanted to let you know. See you. Well, that's exciting news, Edith. What are you thinking right now? She's like, let's work hard as always. Well, if that's the case, Edith, then I guess I should probably go get that Firestone that we've been holding on out of storage, right? My dears, I love the both of you. As if you were my own children. What? Oh, I guess about the Darkrai thing? Yeah, I was gonna say, I haven't seen you in a little bit, so maybe that's what you're talking about. Uh, Firestone, we will take that out. Uh, but yeah, I died the last two freaking missions. But anyway, guys, here we go. We're gonna head over to Luminous Spring and possibly change the way we are forever. So the little Fampy and little Vulpix may be completely changing here. Uh, off to Luminous Spring. Let's see what happens. Lumin- I always get kind of nervous around this part of the game because I'm like, oh man, we've been doing- we've been the same for so long and I really hope the audio isn't clipping. It's just got a huge waveform right now. A voice emanates from somewhere. You, who seek awakening. This is Luminous Spring. Do you seek a new evolution? We'll go ahead and say evolve and who else can evolve? New get can, so that's exciting. Oh, because we have a Firestone. Ploink! We get Ploink to Poliwhirl- uh, Poliwrath, I guess. Uh, I wonder if we can get that to Politoad. That'd be pretty cool. Then we could have actually Ploink. Jibo. It looks as though Jibo can evolve, and look at Edith's IQ. Her IQ is pretty dang high. All right, Jibo, let's go ahead and evolve. Jibo, you shall evolve into Don Fan. Will you evolve? Yes. And we don't require an item to do so. You who seek awakening, let us begin. Jibo's undergoing change. Jibo's appearance changed. Oh, we are a Don Fan. We did it. Oh. Active team has been disbanded. You shall return it if evolution is what you seek. Whoa, look at Jibo now! He's like, I am a Don fan. Look at me. Look at how cool I am. I'm a big rolling poly elephant. Now I can learn. That was a little card gauge voice right there. And he can officially learn Earthquake now, so that's exciting. Hey, do I look weird now, Edith? I guess we should uh, have Edith join the party as well, right? I mean, we can't just only be Don Fan and not have our Edith evolve with us. Man, it's so funny to play as Don Fan in this game. Kinda love it. Kinda love it. Uh, alright. A voice emanates from somewhere. You who seek awakening. This is Luminous Spring. You seek a new evolution. Which Pokemon seeks evolution? Well, I guess Edith would be up next. The item Firestone must be consumed. Do you accept this? Yes. We will need that Firestone from all that time ago. You seek awakening. Let us begin. Edith's undergoing change. Edith's appearance changed. <gasps> and Edith is nine tails now. You show return if evolution is what you seek. All right, Edith is now nine tails. Look at the new team golden ball right here. Ah, oh, kind of love it. What's up? Let's work together. Oh, wow. She's so elegant. She's so beautiful. I love it. Oh, wow. All right, we're like... We're a little more drab in terms of color and all that, but we are much more elegant here. Uh, members, what a- Oh, we gotta have Edith join back on the team, yes, and then Monstro join back on the team, and we are all- Man, we're gonna be so much more powerful now, which I love. 
Uh, there is something also uh, that we can do. <laughs> Despair. Who is Time Lord? Oh, what? I don't remember. Oh, because he had Roar of Time. Where is Monstro? Um, Mo oh, I was like, what the heck? We Trap Queen. Oh my gosh, I forgot about all these guys. It's been a, it's been a good while. But there is something pretty cool that we can do now uh, that Edith has evolved into Ninetales, something I've been waiting to do for a while now. Look at our team there, that's so weird to see. Jeevo and Edith are all grown up. Hey, do I look different to you? I like, what, do you not, he just says that to a random, he's like, I don't know who you are anymore. But something I've been holding out on for a while because uh, to my understanding, this is this can happen and this will be pretty useful if I'm right about this. Um, so I've been holding on to a TM for Psychic here because to my knowledge, Edith can learn Psychic. Now, I don't know what I'm going to get rid of for it. Possibly, uh, Power Whip. Uh, because Psychic does just so dang much. Uh, you can... Wait, G... Jibo can learn Psychic and Edith can't? Wait, what? Something is not right here. Hold on. What else? That, that's not right. Why can Jibo learn e Psychic? That... Oh, Randomizer, what have you done? Uh, wait. Jibo can learn Surf? What is happening right now? What? Wait, this is all sorts of messed up. What the frick? Uh, why can Donfan? Can Donfan seriously learn Surf and Psychic? Maybe I had that wrong in that. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, but he won't have Dig. Did I buy? I don't think I bought Dig. Um, but sometimes this guy has Dig for sale. What the F? I might be changing some moves around here in between uh, this episode and the next one. That, that is wild. Can I, why can I learn Surf? Like, I can learn Surf, I'm gonna replace Water Gun. That's so much better. Is this like a, is this a joke right now? Is something wrong? Cause that should be right. Why can I learn Surf? That's so weird. Uh, I mean, I'm not gonna. What the heck, for real? Oh, I should probably see if uh, I can do Waterfall. He can't do Waterfall, but dude can do Surf? Alright, uh, I mean, that's a way- that's just like a powered up version of Water Gun. It's like Water Gun on steroids here. Use. What?! Is this actual right now? Forget Water Gun, is that okay? Yes. Jibo learned Surf. Something about that just seems so wrong. And he can learn Psychic? What?! Uh, is that re I have to look up his learn set after this. That is- that cannot be right! What else can I learn? Can I learn Poison Jab? I can learn Poison Jab? What the frick? I can learn Iron Tail, that makes sense. Um, this is wild right now. Maybe I should teach him- what is- how much does this do? Cause this is wild right now, like you guys- you guys gotta understand! Uh, that does- okay, six and six. And what was the other one I was looking at? Iron Tail? This is not gonna be that as high as that. Uh, four and eight. That's gonna miss all the freaking time. Can I learn Steel Wing? Okay, what? I gotta look him up. Why can this dude know Poison Jab, but like no no other? Uh, we could take that. I don't know what the what we could use in place of it. I mean, maybe Hyper Fang could get replaced or something. I don't freaking know. Uh, but this is insane right now. Isn't this wild? Like, what the, what the, what? Uh, so, oh, so that's six and six. Uh, but, and it also gives cringe. Uh, I'm a little blown away right now. We can head to Marine Resort. I don't think there are any, uh, any things to, like, uh, in terms of, like, missions to get there. But, uh, what the heck? I totally thought I was, like, saving that Psychic for Edith, not Jibo. Jibo can learn Psychic, that's not right, that's not right. Uh, okay, so we can hit up Zero Isle now. Uh, well, we always could, but now now I feel as though it would be the time to do it. Um, Spatial Rift. We can also go to um, some of these dungeons here. We can go check out Shimmer Hill and uh, Midnight Forest, but we would have to go without Monstro. Okay, I made a quick cut there to kind of lay out our options here. Um, so looking at what we've got here, Midnight Forest to explore with Combuskin might be a good idea because um, we actually can have a couple things happen now that Manif- because we can go to the Marine Resort but it's just gonna be like the other uh, 
the other dungeon Manaphy told us about um, that only had like deluxe boxes at the end. Uh, that's what the Marine Resort has as well. Um, so I think what we could do, I'm gonna store some of this stuff. Uh, not that we have a lot of good things here or anything. Uh, I'm gonna hold on to those TMs for now, uh, and we will probably do that, honestly. Uh, we'll probably head out to Midnight Forest because there's a legendary Pokemon we can get if I find our, um, mystery part, uh, which is somewhere, or secret slab. Uh, I believe it is the mystery- I believe either one technically works. Uh, but I will go ahead and take the mystery part if I'm right about that, uh, because that would be pretty sweet to, um, go after that legendary Pokemon. I think it's either one, honestly, uh, so that's kind of exciting. Um, and we do need to have that, uh, item on, uh, on us when we, um, when we move forward. But anyway, uh, I guess we're off to, uh, Midnight Forest with no Reviver Seeds, per huge. Uh, but we've got that water type move here, and I guess we will, uh, head off. Monstro's gonna have to hit the back burner here because we have to bring a fourth Pokemon with us, and Monstro's size makes it so that is not possible. Let's head out to Midnight Forest, because why not, right? Uh, it's gonna alert us when we get there. Wish I could finally get some Reviver Seeds, but dude hates us. Uh, make room for Combuskin. Alright, Monstro, sorry to do this to you, buddy. Monstro's like, dang it, I'm the freaking whale, man! Alright, well, anyway, uh, Midnight Forest, and... It's Dark Crater, I believe, uh, so that's exciting. Um, but cool that we've got a Water-type move, and possibly a Poison-type move. You guys want us, me to know, uh... I'm still a little baffled. Maybe that was just, like, messed up. That's so weird. I could've s swore that, uh, Edith would... What is that in front of me? Oh, hop it. I was gonna say, I could've swore that Edith could've known, um, uh could have known Psychic, but I guess I'm just wrong about that. I guess I'm wrong about the moveset. There's something messed up. Jibo, Jibo can't know Psychic. That cannot be true. That cannot be freaking true. Alright, so this is gonna be annoying. Uh, wow, that kind of sucks. Uh, I guess I'll just sit and wait. God dang, Edith, you, you, you miss with that more than I ever missed with, um, I ever missed with any of my moves. Here's what I'm gonna do, though. Surf because reasons. That doesn't make any sense! Alright, so this is kinda gonna suck because that Combuskin is level 15. Dude can take a lot of hits, uh... But if that's the case, you know, we can always just come do this dungeon ourselves. Uh, cause we- I'm not necessarily doing this to complete the mission. Uh, because we can go to Midnight Force whenever we want. So if he dies halfway through, I'll probably just come back here. Uh, just as us. Uh, Luxio wants to join the team. Uh, sure, Luxio, I don't have a nickname idea for you, uh, but you can join the team for now. Probably shouldn't have done that. Uh, but whatever. So now we've got Luxio. Gotta make mental notes here to add Manaphy and Luxio to the thing at the end. Oh, Luxio's a slow starter. Maybe I didn't want to do that. Come over here so I can drop some water from the heavens on you. Even though that's not the best idea. And Edith can use that. Oh, this is pretty cool, man. To, like, actually be... I'm not- I wasn't gonna name that Gobo because Gobo is not a female Luxio. Gobo is canonically male. So, uh, that would only be the case if that were true. And, ha, <laughs> you think sandstorms affect me? Uh-oh. Wait, is that a pitfall? Oh, crap. Wait, that counts as- That counts as him fainting if he falls in the pitfall trap? R wait, really? Because that's dumb. That counts as him fainting? Okay, all right game. I'll play your little g Oh, yeah, I forgot that we don't actually like lay down anymore. Let's make it a great day All right, so Luxio is on is with us now. Luxio is like, hey, can I be a part of this? I guess dude Sure, maybe this is a blessing in disguise because Kecleon might have reviver seeds LOL, why do I even bother saying that? Because dude would never have reviver seeds because dude hates me and he doesn't care. He never carries Reviver Seeds. It's absurd sometimes. Air Earthquake, maybe? Maybe something good? Uh, nothing good. So that sucks. Um, but yeah, okay. So I think in the next episode, guys, we will come back 
uh, because that was a ridiculous kind of ending to that. We will come back as our newly evolved selves here and explore Midnight Forest with the hopes of recruiting a, our, well, a, uh, our first legendary Pokemon in a dungeon, which we need the mystery part for. Good thing I have a bunch of those because we probably lost it. We did. Uh, good thing I have, like, loads of those on, uh, on deck in storage there. But anyway, guys, gonna end things off here. Thank you guys very much for joining me on this installment of our adventure. From me to you, have a very nice day, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you.